All right, hey kids, how about ordering pizza for the 4th of July? That's because your holiday barbecue is going to cost a lot more this year with ground beef prices up for one 36% from just a year ago. Stu Leonard Jr. is the president and CEO of Stu Leonard, seven grocery locations in our area. Stu, good to see you, sir. Hope you're enjoying this you holiday doing, weekend. Um, those high prices I mentioned, are they causing a shift in holiday sales? Well, you know what? I'm confused. I'm here in the store right now, and our ground beef sales are the same price as they were last year. So we haven't raised the price on that. So some of these numbers that I'm hearing about that, that are reported across the country might relate to certain items, but they don't relate to everything in general. You know, we've had to raise prices about 5%, but they're, they're still great value in the store, and there's great specials every week. And Dave, I like your idea about serving some pizza at the Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, do you think we've seen a? Uh, do you think we've seen the peak when it comes to inflation, or could we see food prices climb even further into the fall? Well, so far, right now, what we've noticed, and you know, we Mike Darvin buys our meat for us, and he's on the phone with with the Midwest every day, and he said he's seeing meat prices soften right now. Now, we didn't hear that for two years. And you're talking to our lobstermen up in uh, Maine and Canada, and you're starting to hear lobster prices come down. So I feel like the supply chain issues are starting to get worked out a little bit, and we're starting to see some of the a little relief. There's light at the end of the tunnel. And so in terms of how people's mindset is changing or how their behavior is changing when they're trying to decide what to buy in a market where you do see things going up, are you seeing some sort of changes in, in what consumers are buying and why? You, you yeah. definitely can. Like, for instance, for the first time in my life, and our family's been in the food business all my life, I grew up in it, I've never seen chicken prices be higher than ground beef prices at this time of the year. And this year they are. So... We're, we're seeing some little shifts, so I'd recommend go for the hamburger, you know, rather than the, the chicken breast on the grill. The other thing that we're noticing is like something like this. This is shuck corn that you can buy, okay? All done. You don't have to make a mess at home, or you can go buy your normal ear of corn like this. It's more expensive, obviously, for us to do it at Stu Leonard's, shucking it and packing it for you. But um, you'll save some money if, if you buy it. And, in other words, chop it yourself at home. Love me some grilled yeah. corn. You know that's too. All right, so you said you've raised prices about 5%. Have you been forced to trim margins to keep customers content? Well, yeah, you have. Um, we're just shouldering that this year. Uh, you know, we're private. We're not public. We can do what we want. But the way I sort of explain it is like if myself, uh, uh, one of our farmers and suppliers, and a customer went out to dinner and the dinner check comes, all three of us are throwing our credit cards in. And our suppliers have eaten a little bit of it. We've eaten a little bit of it. And the customers, you know, feeling a little bit of it and, and some higher prices. Stu, we talked about this shift during the pandemic. People were cooking because they simply couldn't go out to restaurants. Has that trend continued? Are people still buying like they were in 2020 and 2021? Well, I, I think there's pent up demand right now uh, that we're seeing out there. And, and um, you know, same you're seeing about travel in the airport. Uh, people are looking at COVID maybe a little bit just like the flu now. And they're just deciding, I want to get out and, and really party and get together with my family and celebrate this country's independence right now. We even, we even saw a little spark uh, at Father's Day right now. But even though our sales are up a little bit, our average sale is down so you can Customer counts up, average sales down. You can see that customers are buying what they need and not what they want. And as we know, a lot of people are sort of turning to the convenience for some of these e-commerce, like your, your Amazon Fresh to try and get the groceries. But me, I love a good free sample. I like to actually get my hands on what I'm buying before I buy it. How are you finding the yeah. in-store experience changing right now? Well, you, you know, Rochelle, that's a good question. It was about 5% of our sales pre-pandemic. It went up to 25% of our sales during the pandemic. And it sort of dropped back a little bit to about 10%. But now with the fuel costs, we noticed deliveries actually increasing again. 
because a lot of people are saying I can get it delivered cheaper than if I had to go fill my car with gas and, and, and go out shopping for it. So we're seeing delivery rebound a little bit right now. All right, Stu. But I agree with you. I like to touch it. I like to feel it. I like to smell it. I like to be in the store myself. I'm with you, absolutely. So it's note-taking time. Give the consumers some advice when they're shopping for their 4th of July barbecue, how they can save a few bucks this weekend. Okay, well, first thing comes to Leonard, right? <laughs> uh, the, uh, the second thing I would say is look for specials. I mean, we have specials all the time. You usually get a lot of them on these apps. You know, I mean, I got a little Starbucks app and I'm getting hit with all these notifications and specials all the time. So look look for the, the, um, the app deal. The other thing is buy local because right now it cuts your transportation costs. Like, look at this. We got some beautiful New Jersey blueberries right here now. You can save 50 cents to a dollar a, bo a box if you buy them rather than uh, get something that you have to ship all the way from California. Um, and, and the other thing really is, is just buy what you need and not what you want. Um, you know, I tend to always add a little extra to everything. And we can tell customers are starting to be a little more frugal about their shopping list.